Welcome back trainers and in this video we are getting some information that we've been waiting for for a long time. Now I'm not going to say well I, I'm the one. Uh, look we're just going to go over this and see what happens here. All right. Now a long time ago if you were around or if you're newer well listen up because I'm going to tell you what's happening here. So we were discussing how can we alleviate the problem of you know getting legendaries and then uh, a year later, a year and a half later, a couple months, whatever the case may be, they're going to receive their signature move. You powered up the one without the, the legacy move or the new signature move, and now you can't get it no matter what. We were, you know, howling about that for a long time, and then they came out with Elite TMs. I'm not saying it's because of me, but I'm just saying this is one of the issues that we had that were resolved. Great. Um, there has been several others throughout, you know, not too many, but that was one of the main ones. Now the next one here, another big one, is gonna be skipping the raid timer, right? Now as a solo raider, personally myself, going into tier three raids, tier four raids when they, when they had them, <laughs> and then um, legendaries or megas that I can solo, right? Like Tyranitar or other legendaries, right? That we've done actually yesterday, a couple days ago. You can go take a look at those. Uh, skipping the raid timer is just key to this game or could have been well at least now is because well they added it folks and it is being tested in certain places but it's not being rolled out everywhere yet but there's a little bit of a problem we're going to go over that it de almost defeats it doesn't defeat the purpose but it is it's an, it's on par for niantic let's just put it that way okay so we we get this raid skip timer okay great what's going on here we've got to sit in the lobby as a solo player i have to sit in the lobby if i get shadow hit which means the raid boss hits me when it sh when it shouldn't have with a charge move. Say it has hyper beam. Uh, it uses hyper beam. I dodge it correctly. I don't take the damage. I take the splash damage, whatever. And then uh, it hits me like one second later with another hyper beam damage. That's called shadow hit, right? Shouldn't have been. Shouldn't have happened. So you gotta back out if you're trying to do a challenge and then wait in the lobby again. But they have added a raid a timer skip thing, right? So you can skip the raid timer, right? I'm gonna put up some images here f from the official Niantic Twitter, and then we're gonna take a look at an image from Zoe Two Dots because that's where it's rolling out usually. You know, they're the guinea pigs over in New Zealand and Australia. God bless them, right? So, uh, what's going on here? What's the problem? We got we've got the skip the raid timer in the lobby. What's the issue? That's it, right? We're good. We're good to go. All right, see you later. Thanks for watching. If you could hit that like button, that'd be much appreciated. We've got it. Niantic did it. No, <laughs> sorry. Not that easy with this son of a gun company. Not even close. So what's happening is <laughs> I had to double check and double check and double check to make sure this is the case. And it looks like yes, unless they do change it. But here we go. What is the issue? What could be the problem? Spit it out, Niantic. Or poke. Or already spit it out. Well, it's the fact that if you're in one of these freaking raids, lobbies, by yourself, let me get a little closer to the mic so we, everybody can hear this. If you're in the raid lobby by yourself, <laughs> you can't use it. What the freaking hell, dude? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. So if you're in there by yourself in the raid lobby, you cannot skip the timer apparently, okay? So you gotta be in there with at least you and somebody else to skip the raid timer. It's gonna count down to, it's gonna get down to 10 seconds. Is everybody ready? Yeah, okay. And then, you know, 10 seconds left and you'll still have a chance to back out if you didn't wanna go in there. What's the problem? Well, I mean, if you're trying to go out there and do solos and get it over with quickly, you're not gonna be able to use the raid skip clock. Yay. All right, all right, all right. It's just one thing or another over here with Niantic. Here's a little bit of a tip to relieve this issue. Unfortunately, it's gonna have to revolve around you having another account or another phone, okay? So if you have one of these nice fancy phones that can do split screen, well, here, here, let me give you a little tip. Actually, you don't even need, uh, most phones nowadays, newer phones can do split screens, right? You can have one app running at the top and another app at the bottom, or you can have one floating and then one in the background that is just the main and then another one on top floating like YouTube or something, right? Right. There's several different ways to work around this and I'm gonna help you out here. If you could give this video a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. Y'all sleeping on me. 
Come on. Give the give our brother a thumbs up over here. All this uh, never mind. I'm not even going to get into that, but the world is fake as hell. So <laughs> We won't even start with that, but please give it a thumbs up for crying out loud. All right, what you can do. Most phones can do a split screen, right? So if you do not have a phone that has like a top screen, like a like a flip phone, literally a flip flat screen smartphone, right? Uh, if you have one of those and you don't have no problem, you just open up one app and then you'll have to download another app. So you got the Google Play. Now this is for people on Android. I don't know how it works for you people on uh, iOS, okay? I don't mess with all... I don't go down that evil corporation lane, but if you're on an Android device, you're gonna be able to do this with ease. So you'll have to download it from the Google Play, Pokemon Go, and then there's another store, the Samsung store, Pokemon Go as well. And you can literally have both, you, all right. You could log into both of your accounts, but I don't. That's not, that's not gonna work. So you're gonna have to make another account alongside your main account little bit of a disclosure here. This is uh, apparently against uh, TOS having a multiple account. So who knows? I'm just throwing out suggestions. I'm not saying you should do it or you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying this is a workaround. Okay, there's my disclaimer. So you download both of the Pokemon Go apps from Google Play and then from the Samsung store. Then you open them up. Now you're gonna log in obviously into your main account and then you're gonna make another account or whatever the case may be. And then you're gonna use that other account to log in or get into the raid you get free raid passes and here's a tip don't worry you're not going to ever have to use it a raid pass to do this you get your free raid pass and then you hop into the lobby with your main account you skip the timer you head go ahead and skip it and then you back out and then you're in with your main account and you don't have to worry about the timer is it a little bit of a nuisance absolutely is it a workaround definitely all right, folks, you're going to want to stick around until the end. I can't believe it. I was thinking to myself, if I get this shiny shadow on my son's account, it is going to prove <laughs> yet again on how they try to entice newer players or people who do, who do not are not actively on their account all the time to play when they give them these things. Watch what happens. You're not going to believe it. I couldn't believe it. it's perfect. Let's go. Is it a solution? Yes. Is it uh, the optimal way that we would like to play this? No. But since Niantic wants to be a Niantic and not allow us to skip the damn raid timer when we're by ourselves, then hey. But look, to be in, in all fairness, it almost makes a little bit of sense. But here is a little bit of another tip, Niantic, if you're watching, a little constructive criticism that I don't want to take any jabs at you. I'm just going to give you some more tips here. Listen up, because it seems like you're freaking listening a lot, right? Okay. If we make a private lobby as a solo raider by ourselves in a tier one raid, in a tier two, in a tier three, in a tier legendary or mega raid, if we're by ourselves in a private lobby, we should be able to skip the timer because we're by ourselves. I get it. If you're by yourself in an open raid, it's like, well, why are you trying to skip it? You need more people. All right. Now it takes logic, whatever. But if we make a private lobby, we should be able to just automatically go when we want. So there you go. Uh, so there you have the solution. If uh, you want to skip the timer and you don't have anybody else in your area, make another account. And unfortunately, you'll have to have other two phones so you can log into the other account or if you have the split screen deal. I recommend the, uh, I know this is seeming like, Jeez, chill out, I don't have all this stuff. I know, I get it, and everybody has two phones, but I recommend two phones because if you're gonna do a raid, split screen, it's annoying, you know? It's just another phone, hop in, skip, then back out with your secondary account, uh, and you'll hold on to your free daily pass, and then you'll be able to continuously do this over and over again. Okay, so there is a little bit of a, you know, a situation to overcome you not being able to skip the damn raid timer with this new feature that we've been all waiting for, but we can't even do it by ourselves, which was, I wouldn't say the main reason why we wanted it, but it's definitely gonna be one of the main reasons why we'd like the raid skip timer if we're by ourselves. Of course, if you're in a big group, but then you also have the issue of people st showing up a little late. Um, two minutes away, or I'm 30 seconds away, which translates, let's be honest, it could be true, they could be that far away, but honestly, it's, it's always like five minutes, right? They just say that so that you, you, you don't start. 
Okay, I get it. I've done that myself too. I, I, two minutes away. I'm freaking ten minutes away. Okay, I get it. Okay, <laughs> but uh, then you have people missing out on raids now, so that could be an issue. You're going to start hearing people complain about that. Oh, the, now we can't, can't get into a raid. Oh, da, 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 da. it's like I'm sure you're fine. I'm sure you're fine. And if you were going to get in there, you were going to get in there. But yeah, definitely raids are going to start sooner now, and people are going to definitely miss out on raids. Probably one of the main reasons why they didn't add it um for so long it's just been six years so oh, oh, they finally did it good job yay i'm gonna be 70 when they add all the features we want i mean if they keep going by the time i'm 70 i mean oh shit okay this is a forever game technically that and we can't keep going forever in this damn thing pokemon is too big to fail niantic is not too big to fail so if they can continue to screw up this app they will fail pokemon as a franchise almost too big to fail there's really nothing they can do. They, they can do probably the most horrific thing on this planet as a corporation. Maybe, I'm just saying this. And uh, they could still get away with it. Obviously, there's going to be blowback, but it's just so massive. Pikachu is too cute. You squeeze the cheeks. Always is so like, get rid of that thing. Get that damn thing out of here. Give us a new mascot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, there you have it. Raid skip timer. Awesome, good stuff, excited about it, and there's a workaround. Now, I don't know if they're gonna patch this or if you back out right, right when you skip the timer on your second account, if the lobby timer is gonna go right back up. Oh, nope, somebody backed out. Nope, we can't skip no more. I could see them doing that crap, but I have a feeling it should be all right after that's been locked in there and everybody's confirmed to skip the lobby timer and it goes down to 10 seconds, you can back out the main account or sorry, your secondary account and then kind of just get it over with, right? And that's saving you a lot of time. Personally, I'm gonna go out there and do this. I'll try to bring you a video on it and see how it does work when it is actually rolled out for everybody. So if you go to a raid and it's not there right now, don't worry, it's not you. It's because it hasn't rolled out to everybody yet. Anyways, there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. There's some more tips. Please give it a thumbs up. I see there's thousands of views, thousands of views and minimal likes. You gotta hit the like button, folks. You gotta support me, right? I mean, you don't have to, but I see a lot of you. I appreciate you, Poke. Appreciate you. Watch you all the time. New subscribe. Yes, and this and this and this. Give me a hug. Everybody, come here. Give me a big old hug. I love you all. But you got to give me the thumbs up, all right? That is key. All right. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.